Hello and welcome again to the Bunny Perspective. Let's talk MOBA games. For years now, I've been playing the world's most popular game, League of Legends. It's not the first MOBA, not the most original MOBA, but it is by far the best MOBA. If you don't know, a MOBA is a multiplayer online battle arena. Each MOBA is different from the class-based Team Fortress to the fan service fest, Heroes of the Storm to the... uh... boobs of Smite. They're all team games with objectives and, you know, battling in them. It's the multi-battle arenas. So yeah, I'm doing a review of League. Why? Well, because I play this stupid thing all the damn time, and I have some insights I'd like to share with you. League is my favorite game ever, but even I know that it's not all sunshine and lollipops. Welcome back! It's good doing reviews again. For now, I'm only gonna talk about video games, which is not what I traditionally discuss. Right now, it's the best way to work with YouTube without dealing with copyrights. But if you want me to tackle movies and TV, I will. But I need to see some action in my Patreon. More details soon. So let's do this. Are you getting killed by me right now? Are you ready? No. I was asking the audience. No, they can't answer you. It's in the internet. What's the internet? Ah! Play the song! All my friends are dead and they don't like me anymore. They moved along, they changed, and now they find me quite a bore. Back then it was okay to be a little weird But all my friends are dead and so I've even grown a beard So League is big, like World of Warcraft big. I think it's a bit weird that League of Legends is as big as it is. Like, WoW makes sense why it was so popular. World of Warcraft is like... A whole world to explore. And WoW, you can sit around and fish, or fly around on a dumb horse thing, or like... Ruin a relationship because your guild just has to run an instance at four in the morning and your lady unplugs the computer in a mad rage and you backhand her screaming, this is my life you're fucking with! And then she screams back, I thought I was your life! And you remember that she's actually your wife and you have two kids, but you're about to get evicted because you can't stop fishing and flying around on your dumb horse thing. <clears throat> Personally, I was never that into WoW. I see why people like it, but boy, that grinding level shit has always turned me off. Sure, you get a thrill when you hit a milestone level, but then you sit there and realize it's 20 more hours until the next one. Or 40 hours. Or 67 million jillion hours. My point is, that bores me to death. The other thing I hated about Warcraft is dealing with trolls. Uh, not the race in the game. That, that'd be racist. I, I just mean jerks that would kill you over and over for fun. You know that episode of South Park? Don't you have better things to do than going online killing people? No! I don't want him to start over in the graveyard! That. Even the battle arena within WoW didn't do anything for me, and I'd have to spend hundreds of hours finding good items just to get schooled by people who understand the combat way better than I ever will. So why League? Well, I gotta talk about another addictive game first, Magic the Gathering. I loved this game and played it every weekend when I lived in Florida. <laughs> Building a deck was always in the back of my mind. Then I moved and I never really found another group worth spending my entire weekend with, so I traded my cards for board games. I didn't really know how much I missed that competition until I picked up League. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oddly, I was looking for a replacement for Diablo 3 when I found its story lame and repeating it over and over to grind for items proved boring. I was also playing Hearthstone but getting sick of buying random packs and not getting the cards I needed. So I asked someone if League was like Diablo and he was like, nope. And I was like, nah, yeah, fuck it, I'll play it anyways. And I got hooked. <laughs> League is a great game. It's a ripoff of Defense of the Ancients, fine. But that game was a mod for Warcraft 3 anyway, so it's not like it was the most original concept in the world. Before you ask, no, I don't play Dota. A lot of what I like about League is unique to it, and I find Defense pretty ugly. I also don't play Smite, basically for the same reason. On paper, I should love Smite. I used to pal around with all those old gods, but the execution is just... It's just weird looking to me. I know this is supposed to be hot, but like... It's just... bleh. 
So am I ever going to talk about League of Legends? Yes. But I want you to understand my personal connection to the game. Uh, I'm Lucian, and I'm going to throw a gun thing at you. Oh, dude. Don't say Lucian. That's what he sounds like to me. I'm not going to talk about the game specifically, discussing item builds and champion kits and what minions do. Yay! No, 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 not those. Never those. The specific game mechanics don't really matter for this review. Besides, there are a million videos out there that explain that shit. First, we're gonna talk about what I hate most about League, the community. The other players who have nothing but shit to say. The person telling you that you suck and that you are playing all wrong will be a jerk on your own team. You think that noise would come from the enemy? Are there nice League players? Yeah, but mostly they're fair-weather friends who might jump down your throat the second a game goes south. Fuck. And you say to yourself, I'm not gonna be this way. I'm never going to be toxic jerk that yells at his team. And it won't matter. You can say the wrong thing once and have someone troll you for the rest of the game. A game that can last a fucking hour of your life. An hour gone. Forever as you slowly march towards your own pathetic death. An hour you spent losing a game because some jerk wants to ruin your life. And you beg the team to surrender, but like one fucking dude keeps saying, ignore him and try to win. And you're all like, fucking kill yourself. And then you get a chat restriction and um, oh. They sure got personal fast. Because the game requires teamwork, if one person on your side goes toxic, it often means the rest of the team suffers. There are many channels on YouTube devoted to toxic players, like League of Children, which is hilarious and depressing. It's so difficult to work. League is free to play, but I mean, it's not because time ain't free. Unlike Dota 2, League doesn't give you all the champions. And it has over a hundred characters and every year they add five to six new ones. It took me two years of playing the game every day and spending real money to get all the champions. The free to play model has way more bad examples than good, but basically everyone agrees League is more on the good side. It's not perfect, but a lot of what you can buy is merely cosmetics. There's no pay to win mechanics here. The most negative thing I can say about Riot Games, the creators, is that they're owned by Tencent, China's largest internet company. So far it hasn't affected LOL too much, but there are warning signs. For one, when you spend money in the game, you get Riot Points or RP. RP does not directly translate to real dollars, so it's deliberately confusing and things are priced in a way that you can never zero out your account. Unlike Blizzard's MOBA, Heroes of the Storm, which have price tags on all their skins and heroes. They've also introduced hex tech chests, which are just the fucking worst. Yes, you can earn them for free, but you can also buy them with money. They're basically scratch-off tickets, which are proven to be addictive as hell. It's not only addictive, but getting your loot can be mind-numbingly convoluted. To prove my point, I'm gonna explain exactly how it works. All you gotta do to earn a chest is you or someone you queued up with has to earn an S ranking during a game, but you can't open the chest without a key. Keys are not given, but you can get a key fragment at the end of any random game. You need three key fragments to make a key, and the more fragments or keys you have, the less often you get fragments at the end of the game. Once you open a box, you get one of the following, a random skin shard, icon, or champion shard. I repeat, these are random, and unlike mystery skin chests, you can get shards of something you already own. So if you own every character and get a champion shard, you're out of luck because of essence. See, shards need essence to unlock them. There are two kinds, blue and orange. Orange is for skins and blue is for champions. And depending on the cost of the champion or skin, you need to pair the shard with essence. Currently, blue essence can only be used for champions. So if you own everyone, you can open a box after a lot of hard work or real money and get nothing you can use. You can also get gems, which will get you a key and a chest, or you can save up 10 of them to get a special Annie skin. Don't play Annie? Well, fuck you, you dickhead! Be happy Riot is giving you anything for free, you leeching little fox! I could go on, but I think you get the point. Hextech is a way to both scratch that gambling itch that other games count on, as well as appear to be giving devoted players something for free. I want to talk about what I like, because 
Even though I have issues with League, I really do love it. LOL has updates and patches all the time that constantly change the game. Old champions get updated both visually and mechanically. This made me realize my favorite type of game is one that's the same basic rules that can be played differently. The base rules of Magic are always the same, but what you bring to the table makes every individual game unique. With the many champions, items, and positions, each league game feels new every time I play. League also has my favorite fantasy race in any media ever, Yordles. These fuzzy little guys are a bit like gnomes or goblins from Warcraft and yet completely different. The Yordles have endeared me to this game more than anything else could. Raise your dongers, bitches! Why do chemists call helium, curium, and barium the medical elements? Because if you can't helium or curium, you bury them! <laughs> There is so much more League to discuss, but for now, I think you've had enough. Honestly, in its entire history, this is the best time to start playing. The champion variety and balance has never been better. Please, if you're new to this game, add me. My name's Phil Bunny. Just tell me that you added me because of this video, and I'll try to help you out. We need more nice people playing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you nerds on the rift. Doing these, ugh, oof. Not looking forward to editing this all together. <laughs> the base man. With the many champions, items, and positions, each league game feels like a new time. Let me tell you something else, kids. Uh, if you're playing League of Legends, don't play on the weekends. It's just like a, it is just the worst. All the 12 year olds are out and they're either really good or really bad. And if they're really bad, they're on your team. And if they're really good, they're on the other team. That's just the law of playing League of Legends on the weekends. Just don't do it. Bye! Ah! Move, bovine.